Now let's go back to the unit circle. In the unit circle, we said that it's a circle that has a radius of 1. So if we were to draw a triangle, the hypotenuse of the triangle will have a value of 1 because that's the radius. That's the distance between the center of the circle and a point on a circle. Now this is x and this is y. And on the inside, we have the angle theta. Now let's say if that angle corresponds to an angle of 45 degrees. Well, actually, let's make it 30. Let's say theta is 30. So that would correspond to a point of root 3 over 2. That's the x value, and the y value would be 1 half. Now we said that sine of theta, when we have a unit circle, and keep in mind, this will be true when r is 1. If r is not 1, the equation will change, which we'll talk about later. But for a unit circle, sine theta is simply y. So in this case, sine 30 is the y coordinate 1 half. Cosine theta, we said it's x. Now, there are some other trigonometric functions that you need to know. There's six of them. These are the first two. Tangent theta is sine divided by cosine. So tangent theta is y divided by x. Cosecant theta is 1 over y. And secant theta is 1 over x. Cotangent theta is x divided by y. So those are the six trigonometric functions that you need to be aware of.